What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com, of course. Uh, happy to show you, uh, you know, some more intermediate and advanced stuff. I know you've felt a little left out, but, um, you know, I haven't forgotten about you. In fact, it's my favorite stuff to do. Uh, so let's get into something. What I want to show you right now is um, we're going to take a, a G minor chord or a G minor 7 chord. And we're going to play the G blue scale over that. And, I'm, and we're going to add some of that modal element to, uh, to this you know, kind of vibe of soloing in G minor. And so the thing is, a lot of times, uh, I, I get a lot of questions on what mode do I use or how do I know what to use? And, and there are some really simple uh, ways to think about it. And right off the bat, when I'm in G minor, you plug in the G minor pentatonic or the G blues scale. Now, typically the four chord, which is gonna have the root right next door, so it's gonna be some kind of C chord. Now, if you have a G minor, you've got some other chords and stuff too, but if you see that it goes over to the four chord and it's a minor four chord, then what will add a certain set of half steps that, that emphasize that. And what it would be called is the G natural minor scale or the G aeolian scale, the same thing. And you can actually see that if I take this and I have a C minor in there, then that the appropriate half steps would be six to five to three. But then on the B string, it's six, four, three. And you can see that fourth note right there is the note of that C minor chord. All right, then we've got from the three to the two. And then the five, three. We also have the sixth fret on the A string too. And then we've got um, six, five, three on the low E string. So what you can do is, if you're really comfortable with your blues licks, all blue, that was all blues scale right there. Uh, obviously, there'll be lessons on that kind of stuff as well. But what we can do is we can just use those extra half steps to emphasize some of our, you know, some of our tones that come from that C minor chord. Now keep in mind, any chord of the progression, you know, G minor or C minor, we'll just kind of talk about those and we'll throw, we can throw in a D minor as well, up a whole step, kind of like, you know, it's in a minor blues kind of thing. Um, but any of the embellishments will work over any of those three chords, the G minor, the C minor, or the D minor. And I'm going to show you a couple of, of my favorite cool ideas over that. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is going to be this. And so you can squeeze that in when you're just doing even normal blues licks. Just keep in mind, it's, this is minor. So it's going to be over G minor and C minor, you know, should be in there. So we're going to go like this. We're going to pick one time on the B string with my index finger on the third fret. And I'm going to hammer on the fourth fret on that B string. Just like that. Then my pinky is going to play the pick, the um, sixth fret of the high E. Check it out. Then, so we're going to go, and then immediately back to the um, fourth fret on the B string, and we're gonna pull that off to where my index finger was on the third fret. Check it out. A little bit closer look, so. 
and then a pull off. So check this out, if I'm doing like a blues lick, like... Or just down the blues scale. Alright, so the first little phrase... I do any kind of blues elements here I always have the three to the two as well and so I could do I could just pick it and then slide it and then now I have a hammer on pull off right there with my middle finger and my pinky can reach to the fifth fret of the D string for the root and then whenever I want to transition back into the blues scale have those little extra flavors that you can add. Now also one other thing, you've got the you've got this extra note right here on the fifth fret of the high E. So there's all kinds of amazing things right there as well. One is just the classic Santana inspired lick, which you just you pick it once and you pull off your pinky, then your ring finger. You keep the index finger playing like this. And you do it real fast. And then right after that, you can, what I like, I mean, what I like to do. After I do that, I get my ring finger to where my pinky was on the um, sixth fret. And I do a whole step bend right there. Check it out. Down the blue scale, the first lick, slide there, little trills. So the idea is that you can, you know, use some of these ideas I'm giving you to just inspire some new ideas in your regular pentatonic licks. But keep in mind that this note especially, you can see it's really for a C minor chord. So if you have a G minor chord and you go to a C7 chord, you can see it's not that note anymore, it's this note. So that Aeolian mode's not gonna work. Now also if you have a G minor and you go to like a regular C chord or a G minor, a regular C bar chord, it's not, that little trick's not gonna work either. It's gonna be something else. And so I'm focusing on when you have a G minor chord and it goes to that four chord, which is gonna be a lot. And then also, you know, that's typically in there too. Hey, hopefully that was cool for you guys. Um, got a lot more lessons coming your way.